Number 10 then, from the 2013 Advanced Higher Maths, complex numbers, describe the loci in the complex plane given by this equation here. Well, first of all, loci, I'll just put this into a coordinate form here. This complex number can be written as x plus i, y. And shown in a diagram, a coordinate diagram, argand diagram, simply as a point using these numbers x and y, where x is the real part, y is the imaginary part. So the locus means where are all the possible positions of this point z in that complex plane. Well, you can see straight away what's going to happen here. That says that z, that means the distance, the modulus, z always remains the same distance from i as in z minus whatever that fixed point is, it's always going to be that distance 1. And that point that's been subtracted is a negative i. Negative i would be negative 1. So it should be a circle centred around negative 1 of radius 1. So I'll just get that algebraically first of all. So I'll say this. So if you let z equal x plus i y and substitute it into that, that means I've got x plus i y plus another i, that should equal 1, so that x plus i times y plus 1 should equal 1. Now, the modulus means the square root of the square of those. So I've got the square root of x squared plus y plus 1 squared is the length of that, and that should equal 1, which squaring both sides simply means that that should equal 1. So I've got x squared plus y plus 1 squared should equal 1, and that's the equation of a circle. And that equals the equation of a circle centred at x minus 0, and that's y minus negative 1, with radius 1. Because it said describe rather than show, but I knew that to begin with. That says z is always this distance away from that point, which was being subtracted, of course, the point negative i, negative 1. Where are all the positions of, that you can be if you're just only allowed to stay one away from negative i? That would be in a circle round about it. Part B. We've got this equation this time. The modulus of that should equal the modulus of that. Interpretation being, in this case, that says the distance of z from the point 1 which of course is the real number 1, so that would be the point one zero. if you have to think of it in a diagram. The distance of z from the point 1, real part 1, imaginary part, that's the point 1, is the same as the distance of the point z, whatever these points z, remember they're free to roam, you want the locus, where are they constrained to be, which paths are they stuck on, uh, from z minus, that would be negative 5. Negative 5 is the real part, so that's the point negative 5, 0. So if you have to stay the same distance from both points, you have to stay on isosceles triangles form. So the result of this should be a straight line. You can only stay in that path there if you have always to be the same distance between those two points. They're six apart. Go back three from either side. So that should be the line x equals negative two. Still, it didn't ask for your geometrical interpretation. It just said describe the locus of that. So I presume algebraically. So I would do this. Well, if z equals x plus i y, that means I've got x plus i y minus 1, I put that there, should be the same as x plus i y plus 5. Tidying that up, that means I've got x minus 1 plus i y is the same as x plus 5 plus i y. Then, of course, the modulus means the square root of the square of the two components. So you could write it that way, or you could just say squared equals squared. And then put down the individual part squared. But that sort of obscures the inner part of it. I think I will just put down. So the square root of x minus 1 squared plus y squared, being the value of the modulus of that, being the distance straight to the point in that Argan diagram, is the square root of x plus 5 squared plus y squared. Now we can remove those square roots. And also at the same time, the y squares will disappear. I'll just put them in. x squared plus y squared, x squared minus x minus 1 squared plus y squared is x plus 5 squared plus y squared. y squares will go. Multiply those brackets out. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Multiply those brackets out. x squared plus 10x plus 25. x squares will go. 
take the 2x to join this, that'll be a 12x, but I'll put it the other way around. So 12x will be, so I'm taking the 25 over this side, negative 24. So finally, that means x equals negative 2. What's the interpretation of that as an equation? That's a vertical line through the point x equals negative 2. <laughs> You've got a vertical line with equation x equals negative 2. And so it was.